Welcome to episode 8 of the Race to Dakar 2020 series with Team Races to Places. I'm got to take enough first time because of uh, I don't want you double dipping on the do you, do you go from the front or from the back uh, I don't know right? I go from the front so you can get a bit on the back wheels yeah, yeah. just well I, I kind of have a look and I look at like I don't when last did I shower <laughs> and then I decide how deep we go mm. <laughs> I'm just going one finger one finger I don't want it to start to <laughs> this finger on time <laughs> those are some long fingers you got there mate <laughs> I was all right yesterday. Yeah. I'll be all right. Back more. Why don't you just hang on to that, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> when my bum hurts, I always choose Vaselina. Slick grip for butt cheeks on all motorcyclists. Get yours today. Good morning, folks. Yeah, here we go. We're going into stage three now. Um, now we've got the transit back, so we're starting to get the system working as it should now. We're not falling over each other like we were without the van because we've got more space, we've got the gear that, to put the crew side up, we've got the garage side, we're working together and it's working lovely. The tent you've got to hold in a very special way, a very special way that I don't quite know myself. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, to say a few words about the team, uh, we're, all, we're all getting on great but it's hard work. Um, the bikers and the team are working really hard and just getting everything up, packing everything down, long liaisons in the vans for the service crews and media crew. Um, we're just kind of getting into the swing of it. We're on day three today, so hopefully we'll start to fall. It'll all start to fall in place. But uh, generally, really, really great guys. All having a good time. Lots and lots of banter. People having fun, making jokes on each other and stuff, and playing pranks. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you know, I'm used to doing it Malimoto, uh, but I have to say, doing it as a team is uh, it's a lot of fun. Really looking forward to the stage today, uh, up early this morning, uh, up at 6 o'clock and uh, it's nice and fresh but uh, today's going to be a long one, it's nearly 500 kilometres the stage, a special stage, yesterday was 3.30 and that seemed long enough so it's going to be a long day, uh, I think we're going to finish a lot later but I'm looking forward to going racing right over there. anti chave cream, man's best friend.
stop for a pee and to fix this camera because it was broken. So, lost a couple of minutes, but I feel better. Get back on the road. Again, what you're not meant to do, went and buried myself. Uh, yeah. A long one. <laughs> My hands is destroyed. <laughs> it was a long stage. The first part of it was uh, really rough, like um, very bumpy. I, well, I needed to stand up, but I'm so tall, the wind just gets me, and it was so fast. But yeah, I managed to uh, get going, and then second half was a lot better. But those guys at the front, I said today, okay, you can go. <laughs> So here we are, um, arrived in the bivouac, about the fifth bike back into the bivouac and as you can see it's not really set up yet, this is where everybody eats. The support vans are not here yet so I decided to crack on with my road book. See I've got all my pens and everything out here, just uh, doing some road book marking. Day in the life of Africa race. 
So I've just bumped into Anthony on his way to the shower. Anthony's John Louis Schlesser's son. Um, helped me a lot with getting here and getting to the race, and not just getting here, but actually at the race, because obviously one of the vans broke down. Yeah. So the organisation have been a massive help, like getting that van here, finding, they even found the parts for the van. So. It's, it's our job, you know, we're here to help the competitors. We're really happy to have your team here, and uh, it's just the spirit of our race, help, yeah. being friend, uh, friendly, yeah. Uh, sportsmen, uh, everything everything needs to be perfect for you. You need to yeah. go in Dakar. That's no, our, that's exactly that's right. The, the aim is to get everyone to Dakar. And I was uh, I was going for a shower yesterday, and I didn't have my towel because the team vans weren't here. And uh, so I went in the shower, got out of the shower, my boxer shorts on. I was stood in the sun, and one of the organizers, as one of the staff members, said, uh, "What are you doing, Lyndon?" I said, I'm "Drying in my this in my towel, the sun." And within two minutes, Someone he'd, he'd ran back. off and brought me a towel. And yeah. I thought, "Wow, that's like really cool." Well, I'm. You know, so. it's just the story of our race. I'm happy. If you're ah, happy, it's perfect. We're all having a great time. And, okay, yeah, you repaired really your awesome. van, so it's perfect. Van's repaired. We're repairing bikes again. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, everything's Save good. Save yourself for Mauritania. Yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be great fun. I, I backed off today. Okay. I slowed down because I thought ah, it's a long way to go. Okay. Easy to make a silly mistake. Great. Yeah. All right, thanks, Anthony. No problem. Cheers. Take care. Have a good See evening. You. Bye. Just thought we'd uh, take a quick look around the bivouac and see what's going on. It's about 7.30 at night and in this race there's about 80 motorcycles, uh, I think about 40 cars and side-by-sides and about 15 trucks and behind me we've got a team of three trucks and there's a lot of stuff, yeah, the tyres are like the size of my motorcycle. So you can imagine the amount of trucks they need just to get all the spare parts and equipment and service crew here. Look at the size of the brakes on these things, they're huge. So we're just a side-by-side -side team here and they're just cleaning all the dust off these uh, vehicles. You can see it's, uh, it's a mission and you know, it's, it's impossible to keep these things 100% clean all the way through, but you gotta strip them down to get them clean as you can. on my stage three today. Uh, got off to a really good start, actually caught the leader Palanders before the sand dunes. Um, got into the dune section and it was pristine, there was no tracks or anything. And I led going through the dunes right until about 20 kilometers in, into the dunes where I just had a fall on the bike, a silly little fall. And um, then he sort of caught up to me because I pulled some time. He caught up to me, I got back on the bike and then I was like under a bit of pressure and, and I fell again and then he went past, Batari went past and after the dunes we got into some really heavy rough stuff and uh, I wanted to stand up but the speed was so high, there was just so much wind blast on me that I had to sit down but it was so rough, it, the seat was just pummeling my back and in the end I just ended up slowing down and just saying to myself, you know, it's, uh, those guys are really on a mission at the front and I just wanted to get, I just want to get to Dakar so I just knocked it back a little bit and I actually started enjoying it a little bit more then. So eased off today, um, it was a really fun stage but just a really long and hard on the body. My hands are sore and everything so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a good night's sleep but let's go find out how the other guys got on. Mike, how did you get on today? Oh, I ended up pretty good. Uh, started off uh, well. My shoulder was feeling good this morning. Uh, got into the dunes and it, they were really soft, so that took its toll on my shoulder. Uh, but once we got through the dunes, it, it went went pretty well until we got into the real rocky stuff. And then um, again, that took its toll on my shoulder. But overall, I think I came in tenth place for the day and. Uh, all things considered, I'm happy with that. So, and you're lying 10th overall. So that's tenth good. 10th overall. overall. Awesome. Well done. So, obviously, the goal is to make it to Dakar and and uh, get the whole team there. So if we all make it and we're all in good shape, uh, it's a win. Yeah, that's right. Greg, have you got a minute? Yeah. How was your day today then? It was awesome. Yeah. Compared to yesterday, it was just a fantastic day. Good. Yeah. Good. Confidence level climbed, had a really nice time. 
it was long though, eh? It was long. But I found Joey in the dunes. He unfortunately had quite a big tumble. Yeah. Which I don't know at what kilometer that was. Quite early in the stage yeah. though. And then we just rode together the rest of the stage. Nice. Like 400 kilometers. It's nice yeah. sharing some riding yeah. time And together. I was just riding shotgun with Joey, which is quite tough to do. Yeah. And he was going a lot faster than I would have gone. Right. So it actually picked up my pace. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot more confidence on the bike. A oh, really good day. Yeah, and we're really all we're it. all in the top half of the field, which is perfect. Really? No, that's amazing. We just need to concentrate on one goal, get yeah. to Dakar. Today was uh, today was rough, I gotta tell you. Um, yesterday we got through it and you know with rally you have some days that are just cool and everything clicks and yesterday was one of those and the day before and then today it just went pear shaped horribly man. I, I hit that dune section and I had just a little bobble um, right at the top of the dune, just dropped the bike over, no big deal, standing still, picked it up, you know, out of puff a bit, but uh, it fogged up my glasses and my, my goggles, because I'm getting old now, I've got to wear glasses, you know, and, um, and I thought, you know, it'll clear in the next few meters, and I rode down the dune up the next one, and as I went over, it flattened out, but there was a hole, and I just went straight into this hole, because I couldn't even see it, so I wasn't even like braced for it, and so I stopped that. Man, I smashed my helmet, into the GoPro, I broke the lens on the GoPro, so I can literally say that my face has broken the lens of a camera. Was it on there, the GoPro? Was yeah, it? I on? think it was on. Oh, I think it was on. We'll have to that. check. Yeah. Well, but I'm pretty sure it was on. So you're gonna see a, a shot like <laughs> this, <laughs> you know. But it was uh, so it was pretty crazy, um, and I've hurt my wrist as well. And so it's like a little bit of a, obviously it's a bit of a sprain or something. But oh, it's been aching, and I'm like on day three to do a little niggly. You're like. <laughs> But uh, we're going to get to Dakar one way or another. Nice one. Thanks, brother.